Chris and Jane on Narrowboat Poppy. This four-year-old channel is all about couple Chris and Jane's life aboard their narrowboat, fondly named Poppy. Some days it's peaceful walks near whatever marina they have moored Poppy, and other days it could be checking out canals and the interesting architecture. Did Chris and Jane sail their narrowboat poppy a couple thousand kilometers from Staffordshire in the UK to Akbuk, Turkey? And then stay in a hotel? Inquiring minds want to know. I want to know. There are so many wonderful roadside structures and attractions. And then there are the boat festivals and other type of boat shows in the canals. Narrowboats are like the RVs of the docks. And Chris and Jane get to see cool things like ghost turkeys. <laughs> Doesn't that look turkeyish to you? Turkeyish, not Turkish. Life with Poppy isn't without its mediocrity because, you know, like living in a traditional home, there are the repairs and maintenance and even a little spiffing up to do for the old girl. And the older they are, you know, the more issues they have. I'm talking about Poppy and Boats, not Chris and Jane. <laughs> well, maybe Chris and Jane, too. So if you're wondering how it's possible to make a nice home on a narrow boat, or live at a marina, or see Staffordshire from the point of view of those with sea legs, please check out Chris and Jane on Narrow Boat Poppy. John Hodges Anything Outdoors John Hodges is an Oklahoma country boy, and he uses his channel to show there's more to do in Oklahoma besides chicken fry steak and drink 3% beer. Like foraging wild edibles and refrigerating armadillos. <laughs> John even gives outdoor living tips and shows game cam footage. That's pretty cool. But don't take his advice on romance, y'all. Let's keep Google employed on that one. Now, why would John go through all the trouble of restoring a 1985 John boat? By the way, he made some of the parts from a piece of family history. It's a really cool story. Catfishing. Now we know why John Hodges Anything Outdoors wants a nice John boat. Catfish, bass, perch, even dorkfish. Okay, maybe not dorkfish. Some of y'all are going to Google that later. I know it. Something else John Hodges Anything Outdoors wants YouTube to understand is there could be anything outdoors. Just outside your door. What could it be? Living in the wild and not a member of the $1 shave club for men. <laughs> no, it's not a killer armadillo. John Hodges Anything Outdoors is on the hunt for Bigfoot. You should look at his camera footage and see some of the stuff that it sees. Because John Hodges is going to show YouTube land anything outdoors that he sees. And then he'll let you make up your own mind about it. So, is there anything outdoors in Oklahoma? Check him out. Peggy Helbling's Garden What You've Got. Peggy is a firm believer in using what you have and making the best of it. If it means acreage or apartment, Peggy wants to show that you can still grow a nice garden, even without some of the things that you may see in other gardens. Like this peculiar insect robot hand. Enjoying the bounty of the garden is part of the fun, and, and making different things with the harvest is even better. Don't care about worm huts and spider plants? Peggy Helbling's Garden What You've Got has lots of garden tours, and she makes the most of everything that she grows. She's even working on a hair loss formula for cypress trees. I think it involves ducks, because there's a bunch of them on that video. So if you're gardening in the Florida suburbs like Peggy, or just a tiny terrace in Massapequa, <laughs> I don't know why I said Massapequa. I might name my first chicken Massapequa. Is Massapequa a good chicken name? Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Peggy. Yeah, she's showing you how she's growing where she's planted. So who else is ready to garden what you've got? Narrowboat living in the UK. Sharing Oklahoma's pastimes and mysteries. Florida urban gardening. 
Are these your people?